What's good, YouTube? Welcome back. My name is Kelly. For those that are new, and today I'm gonna show you guys the best workflow inside of Adobe Audition for recording vocals. This will make everything quicker and easier for you guys. Let's get into it. So the first thing you want to do is go up to Window, go to Workspace, and reset to Classic. So reset, Classic, yes. Now these are all your recordings, your files. This is your effect rack, which you're gonna want. So click your effect rack. Boom. You can move this over. And then super simple, you record here and you add your effects here on your track effects. So select your mic, mono, you wanna go to mono and record and you guys can start recording vocals super easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you guys wanna add effects to your vocals, just go over to your track effects and you can add it like this, add some compression. My favorite compressor, the classic Softney. Add some compression to your vocals, whatever you wanna add. Now I think this is the cleanest, easiest way to record vocals. Now when it comes to adding effects, say you're only using one track, one, one track like this, one vocal track, you can add your effects right here. Simple, easy. But if you're making a song and you're adding multiple tracks, recording multiple tracks of vocals, multiple tracks what you're going to want to do is add a bus track with the bus track you can add your effects to the bus track and then link these tracks to the bus track now we're going to right click hit track go to add stereo bus track and we're going to bring this up to the top and now say we're doing music all right so a lot of people when they record they punch in you can't just record a whole song in one take well some people can but like most people don't so you're going to be punching in on at least two different tracks, right? So what you can do, you can add, you can connect these two tracks, track two and three to your bus track. So go to master, go to bus, bus A, connect it to bus A, master, connect it to bus A, and then go to your bus and then add your effects to your bus track, whatever you want to add. Classic softening compressor, say we'll add like a multi-band compressor because that's a great compressor too i like to use the pop master so now when you're recording your verse you don't gotta add effects to both tracks because both of these tracks are linked to your bus track and your bus track could be like your verse effects boom think of this as your effects no we're not gonna have no effects on our tracks right here we're just gonna have our effects on the bus track i'll say these are your verses verse verse so now we can punch our vocals in and we don't gotta add effects to both of these tracks on the side because both of these tracks are linked to our bus track. That could be like your verse. Now say you wanna add a hook, same thing. Add a bus track, like hook effects. Add the hook effects. Now say for the hook effect, you wanna add like extra reverb, just crank the reverb, boom, so much reverb. Now we can make track four and track five the hook. Then we connect our hooks to the hook track, hook effects, hook effects. And if you guys don't use a bus track and you start adding effects to each and every single track, first of all, you're going to be mixing your vocals and then you're going to have to change the effects for both tracks, which you don't want to do. And if you have effects on each and every single track, then your session's going to start to lag and then you can't even really work or listen to the song because all you hear is static and effects lagging. This makes it a lot easier on your computer and a lot quicker to work. Using this bus track can help your workflow a lot. And this layout can also help your workflow a lot. But this classic workspace and the track effects right there on the left makes everything so simple. When I started using Adobe for the first time, I would double click the vocal and highlight it and then add one effect at a time, which it's just, it's just a lot slower than I add like 10 different effects yeah, a lot slower. Don't worry about doing that. Just add your effects here on the side, on the left. Record right here. And if you guys are using lots of effects and lots of tracks, making a song, do the bus track thing. I figured I would make this video because for a long time, I was doing everything the complicated way. So hopefully this may help some of you get a faster, easier, quicker workflow. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you guys did. Comment down below, subscribe if you guys are not subscribed. And I'll see you soon with another video. Peace.